All right, what's up, YouTube? We got Justin here. We've been working on the pit bike for a little while right now. We finally got it running. The bell's all adjusted good. Uh, it took us like, took just like 20 minutes, but it's smoking so bad right now. Uh, it gets worse as you hit it. Yeah, too. it gives. This thing's shot. This thing's shot. You need a new SSR. <laughs> it's, it's the cable though. It's 100% the cable thing, pull. Is this thing shot too? Oh, it's just the way it's routed and guarantee it in here. That's why it was pulling up on it. I don't know what, why this was so high. Yeah, I know. Doesn't make a difference. smoking I rode it around for a minute the valve got really loud again they weren't making this noise before it actually sounded normal when uh Justin first adjusted it so I don't know maybe something else is smoked in there but they definitely shouldn't kick this loud that's for sure so I don't know all right so it's the next day I just uh actually tossed the pit bike in here I didn't actually mess with it yet I'm really trying to decide whether or not, obviously I'm going to fix it, I might just uh, get a new top end for it, see if that fixes the problem, and then as far as the valves, uh, send an email to Mike at TV Parts, so we're going to figure it out. I'm trying to think if I want to off it, possibly buy a, a KLX 110L, and then take all like the more expensive parts on this, as far as like the skid plate, the peg mounts and whatnot, and then some of the JTI, the JTI cover. And then uh, maybe the suspension, I'm not entirely sure yet. And then other than that, there's really not much on it. Maybe the pipe too. Um, and then swapping those parts and then selling this one or possibly keeping it, having two bikes. I'm not really sure what I want to do, but um, I'll figure it out here in the next couple of weeks because uh, this thing is shot as the, uh, the, the condition it's in right now. But a little bit of work and it should be okay. Over here, I got a package that came in from uh, Outlaw Racing. They hooked it up with a bunch of parts uh, for the bike. So I'll go through them all. We got uh, some spare tubes for the 125 because, uh, or the 250F, because I know I pinch tubes a lot. So I got some spare heavy duty tubes, or those are standard, whatever standard tubes. Um, we got another blue shifter because the other one's stripped out for the 125. Oh um, my God, uh, front brake pads for my 250F because those are shot due to the, the fork oil getting on them and they don't really lock up anymore. So we got some new um, front brake pads. Once I change those seals, like new fork seals in there. Um, I got a spare clutch for the 125 because I know that's inevitable that I'll have to change that soon. So I got a new one of those. We got a new, uh, like a gas can hose for that other new can I got because that one keeps leaking. A couple other miscellaneous. We got uh, two new rim locks. The rear rim lock because the one was shot in the 125. I fully support these aluminum bearing throttle tubes. This one's for the, the 110. Then I got another one for the 250F because I like them so much um, from the one I bought on the 125. The one for the, the 250F right here. Right here we have a, uh, a cable luber. doesn't hurt to have that. Got some just little fancy green rim lock things for the 250. A little standard uh, grip donuts. Right here I have a full set of T-handles. I'm um, going from an 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, and 19, so a full set of T-handles. That way I don't have to swap out the, uh, the, the, uh, the single T-handle with the different tips and whatnot. So I got all of those, and then I got this little uh, mount to actually put them in. I think I'm going to mount it right here to slide all the T-handles in, and uh, that should be mint. So huge, huge shout out to uh, Outlaw Racing or Pit Posse. I'll leave all the links down below in the description to check them out. They got every single part you'd really need. Um, bunch of really good tools you'd ever need so definitely check them out for anything you see here or anything you really need for your bike or tools like I said they also have that jack stand on their website that I've showed you it goes up like a couple feet makes it super super easy to uh, work on your bike and uh, yeah like I said check them out right, aside from that we got the bike out loaded I'm going to pick up Ryan and uh, we're heading out to Pavilion for uh, open practice Mike was here Phil was here we were fishing in the pond and whatnot earlier but 
Mike's already got his uh, his Suzuki all loaded up. But uh, go pick up Ryan. All right, so we just got to the track. We did like uh, one session. I'll probably get Ryan out there in a little bit to uh, actually get some clips. Now I'm probably gonna throw the GoPro on real quick. And uh, since a lot of you like the GoPro from uh, like two videos ago, I'll just strap that on for a couple laps. <laughs> I just uh, got some GoPro, not too much GoPro, maybe like a full lap if that, we're loading up. Probably get a little bit more riding tomorrow and then include it in this video and whatnot. Boom, bike's all clean. I think next ride I'm going to uh, actually leave the 125 home, go back, ride the 250 up again, and uh, have a little fun on this since I haven't touched it in like five weeks. I'm actually... I'm gonna take these graphics off. I'm kind of sick of them and the new graphics should be coming here soon and I don't know I'm just kind of over the look of it and they don't really match up properly and they did take me like an hour to make But um, it's all right, whatever. So now I know for future things That this will last a decent amount of time and that size all gone now everything around it's all scratched up And that's like a newer spot. It's just got some little sticky residue on there still, but I don't care like I said, with black plastics, you ride it for maybe two or three rides, which is this, this maybe has four to five rides on it, and the black plastics look shot. So if you're just trying to run black plastics without graphics over it, they're going to look toast in a few rides. One thing keeping the OEM, like the white and the green, they don't look nearly as bad um, over time, and they'll last quite a bit longer than than blackwood and a lot of you like the oem like i really like the oem look but i just wanted to change it up be a little different and just try something new that i haven't done before 
But uh, like I said, you can always go back to the uh, to the OEM stuff if you really wanted to. But the best way to do it if you plan on like buying, like riding a bike for a season or two seasons, just immediately take off the brand new plastics and just put new ones on there. So then when you go and sell it, you can put the OEM uh, brand new plastics back on and it just looks better when you sell it. Like along with putting all the stock stuff back on, like take the pipe off because you're not really going to get any more money for an aftermarket bike as you would a stock bike so you may as well take all the aftermarket parts off if you're not getting the same bike where the parts would like mix match and like fit the the next year's bike unless like that bike like if Kali were to make a major change where the pipe wouldn't fit then like I said I'd just sell the pipe and then get another new FMF for that. Alright I just got done going over all the uh, bolts on the bike real quick quick little check over I'm going to actually finally the seal came in for the uh, for the shift over here so I'm gonna put that seal in and then uh, hopefully in this video I should have a little surprise, which is probably the title and thumbnail. I'm gonna take this off right now. I'm gonna check the filter. It's been two, probably two rides on it. Yeah, so we'll check that. All right, so here it is. Ryan's even dropping it off the delivery service. We got a freshy KLX 110L for like six months to six. I'm gonna call this a six month lease. KLX 110 six month lease, technically, or whenever Blaze gets uh, healed up from his ACL. So if you guys didn't hear it, uh, Blaze actually went through. He tore his ACL a little while ago at club when we were there. And then, uh, what, what are you doing? I'm gonna use it for like ripping around the lawn, some trails and whatnot. Nothing really beat on. And then once I fix up my 110, I'll just have two for the time being. What do you? What do you? I don't mean? know how to go about this. I don't know why you even <laughs> put it back in the truck. We'll kitty corner it off. Put it back in the truck. Don't hit my thing. Don't hit it. We're good. This thing is so fresh, so fresh. It's even got a kickstand now. Man, every single KLX 110, I'm sure everybody can relate. Everybody takes the kickstand off for some reason. I don't know why. He had some hate comments about me taking Ryan's pit bike, all right? He did know after the fact, because I think Anthony sent him a Snapchat during the day, so that's why he didn't end up calling me later on in the day. So he kind of knew, he just didn't say anything to me that I took it, if that makes any sense. Oh yeah, he wasn't too bummed. He knows that if I happen to break something on it, that I would two, that I would replace fixing. for it. And Mike, Mike came over yesterday. He's riding around the lawn, comes back, and the tire's flat. I'm like, Mike, what did you do for five minutes in the lawn to pinch the tube? So now I got to get Ryan a new tube, or I'm gonna get that slime stuff and actually spray it in there because pit bike um, changing tubes and tires, the biggest pain. Like, way worse than doing big bike tires, that's for sure. So, I owe him a tube or some slime to put in there. Let's make up for uh, me taking this thing on Ryan. I'll let Ryan shout out his Instagram and anything he wants to say. So. R Griffin265. R Griffin265. Get me to 2K. Get him to 2K followers on Instagram. It's on the screen right here. And this is what I'll be ripping around the house. Some trails and whatnot for uh, six months or so. So, huge, huge shout out to Blaze for uh, loaning me this. Blaze out. If you want to give a uh, check, Blaze out. It's just at Blaze Cromaldi, I think. I'll put it on the screen also right here. If you want to give him a follow on Instagram. And uh, yeah, thank you. This thing is sweet. Literally, he's only ridden it, I don't know, five times or so. He already broke the back fender. I gotta, I'm gonna zip tie that up. But he said he wants to uh, get the red plastics and then do it like the same as his uh, Honda 250, like all the same graphics and everything. Oh, someone but this thing does actually. That. No, I took that off to it's fill it up with it. Gonna ride in the truck. That thing blows a lot of smoke too for some reason. It burns Only oil. Only at cold though. Look at that. Rev it up. Rev it. See Ryan's little wheelies. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> if you break fender, I'll zip tie it up for you. That's the deal. Please loop, please loop, please loop. That'd be so worth me stitching it up. Alright, go. Last attempt before I'm done. With you. Nope, you're not. I eat it. Dude, it don't freaking have a back brake. Oh, I'm not gonna. But get your foot down. Taking it home since I gotta fix the tire. So back to the the chop shop. Oh, Dude, I don't look at how many cowies are in here right now. What is it? Three, five cowies. I don't have room for these in here. Going out to the garage the next morning. Literally three pit bikes, all cowies. 
this thing, I uh, I don't know if I mentioned I talked to uh, Mike at TV Parts. I might have already, but I'm just going to throw a new top end in there. He said everything as far as the valve should be good. I'm going to check them over one more time. Put them 2.003 instead of uh, the 6 that they were at. And then uh, that thing should be fine. I want to, I'm going to look into putting um, electric start on this thing. I'm not entirely sure the process. I have looked it up previously a long time ago. Might be a long process. I don't know, depending on how much it costs. And uh, that's the main thing. If this had electric start, it'd be a ton easier. That's the main reason why I also wanted to upgrade to a newer um, 110L. <laughs> I've been talking about this forever to get the BBR swing arm. I think I'm actually just going to... Hopefully they still have some in stock, get the BBR swing arm. This whole thing up, I would say to get the whole thing vapor honed, but it's a pit bike. I don't really think it's worth it, to be honest, but I'll just clean it up the best I can, and I might look into getting the uh, the better forks. They're the M M uh, something, it starts with an M. They're black forks. I'm gonna fire this up. Huge shout out to Blaze, like I said. I'm gonna rip this around the lawn for a little bit. See, that right there. Look at how easy that was starts right up. This thing up after I do a couple wheelies just in case I were to loop it right now and then kind of waste my time zip tying and drilling holes and whatnot but I'll get to it. And of course it starts to rain right now. All the brakes work super snappy. I mean it is brand new so what can I expect but finally when I do wheelies and stuff I can actually use the back brake. I haven't to, uh, been able to with my pit bike or Ryan's pit bike. If, you, if you've been on the channel for a really long time you remember when my 110 was stopped. And I would just mob it around the lawn, be able to do wheelies since the back brakes work, and it wasn't obnoxiously loud. So, this makes me want to go uh, get a brand new one myself. Boom. Is that a kick? That's a kickstand. What? This thing's so fun. gear on that. It came out way too quick. My hand almost blew off. Oh my god. Alright, it's starting to rain. Really hard. And Man, this thing is so much fun. Like, I was probably been riding it for the past 20 minutes, and that really, really makes me miss having just a stock 110. Like, seriously, I think the way to go is just to have a stock 110, get some tall bars or medium bars, not even get a pipe, maybe put a 144, yeah, probably put a one uh, big bore kit in it, maybe the V2 head, um, get the JTI stuff, all the peg, and a uh, cradle mount so you don't pull the stuff out, get the bigger foot pegs. And then um, maybe the swing arm. Get the stiffer uh, dampening rods for the suspension. Get the better, like the Fox, whatever, uh, rear shock that you can actually pump up with air to adjust yourself and for your weight and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I still got to fix up Ryan's pit bike today. So again, huge, huge shout out to uh, Outlaw Racing or Pit Posse. Hooking up with all the parts. I got this thing set up. Uh, screwed it into the workbench. So I'll stay there. I need like separate tools to bring to the track that I can just keep in the toolbox and then tools that I can just keep here so I don't have to keep like bringing them back and forth and whatnot and it's annoying and then I lose stuff. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. It's been like a course of like three days filming this video, I feel like, between riding at Pavilion and didn't get much there. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan. And off that, I'll see you guys in the next one.